Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in three beautiful decks today to connect with the energy around you, your person, your journey. We're going to bring in the beautiful Kindred Spirit Love Oracle. I'm also going to bring in a great deck written in the stars and I'm going to bring in the Divine Feminine Illumination. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. Okay, let's do this then. So what's the energy around you today? Wow, flying out of the deck. So I'm going to bring those here, okay? What's the energy around your person today? The energy around them flew on the floor. We've got one card. And the energy around the journey itself. What's the energy around the journey today? One card. Very powerful energy is flowing in here. What's the energy around you today? The energy around them today? The energy around them today and the energy around this journey. Wow. Very powerful how just one or two cards are coming out here. A lot of clarity coming in today, I feel, as well. The energy around you, look at that, flew out of the deck then. This is a very intense deck. It goes into some very deep issues. So we're going to harness some deep power today and really get into the nitty gritty of what's going on. So that's the energy around your person and the energy around the journey. It's that card there, the energy around the journey. Okay, so let's connect with you first then, because obviously, you know, you're the most important one here. How you feel what you're going through is important. So we've got physical separation coming through for you and also divine intervention. Wow. So what I'm feeling here is if there is a separation right now, a physical separation where you're not physically together, so you're apart, whether it's physical you know, distance between you or you feel apart because you're not communicating or, you know, you're not physically spending time together, there is going to be a divine intervention. Now, this is really powerful because you can see the little cupids that are working on this, but I'm seeing this as the archer energy of the Sagittarius energy. So, it's reminding you to keep your eyes on what you want. If you've prayed about this, if you've asked the angels for assistance, you now have to have unwavering faith that they are involved in this and they are bringing in a plan. They are bringing you back together. They are creating the way. And I'm feeling that Archangel Raguel is around this intervention. Raguel is the angel who harmonizes things. He brings you back together at the right time. So if you're thinking, when's this separation going to end? The angels are already creating the way. Now we've got letting go. Yeah, absolutely. So what you have to do when divine intervention is at play is let go, surrender, give it to God. So you just have to have faith now that you are coming back together at the right time. So understand that letting go is not about giving up. It's not about moving on. It's not about being with someone else. It's about letting go of the struggle. It's about giving up the struggle, the fight, putting down the, the oars of the canoe, allowing things to happen naturally, trusting and having faith. So understand letting go is not about giving up. It's about gaining power, gaining back your power, doing you, focusing on self-love. Loving your person unconditionally and letting things flow naturally. So you can affirm, I am letting go. I am letting go. Now, before I go into these other cards in the Love Oracle, because these are very intense and deep, I want to see what the other cards are first. So I'm going to do the energy around your person. So yeah, look at this surprise rewards. Wow. So this is saying, them saying to you, I'm going to surprise you and it's going to be rewarding. So the surprise will be a reward. So in other words, let them come to you. That will be your reward for letting go because they are going through a healing right now. So they are saying to you, I'm opening myself up to healing. I'm healing my past wounds, my past pain, trauma, past lives, limiting beliefs, anything that stopped me from being with you. And this is helping me to let go of all those things that no longer serve me, which hold me back from you which hold me back from becoming my true authentic self. So this could be an addiction. It could be a distraction. It could be a karmic person. It could be a job. It could be fear. It could be anything. They are saying to you, they are healing their wounds. And it's also a surprise to them because it's bringing in such amazing rewards. You know, they're feeling healthier and happier because they are now healing these wounds. So they are healing their life. So remember, if you're in physical separation, it's allowing them time to heal those wounds. 
and the energy oh yeah look at this for the journey we've got physical reunion wow so this is really powerful because the physical separation is being worked on by heaven especially archangel raguel who is the harmonizer of heaven the angel of harmonizing relationships to bring you back into physical reunion so physical separation will become physical reunion through the higher realms and there's a healing taking place within them that's going to bring a surprise to you a reward to you because they'll be able to give to you in a higher way all you need to do is let go now the energy around the connection look at this we've got acceptance and we've got let leap and we've also got trust so the angel is saying to you your trust is everything Trust that everything is divinely unfolding. And look at this. I've got angel bumps. Look how these cards are resonating today. And it will be rewarded. It will be a surprise reward. It will be rewarded. Your trust will be rewarded. When you trust in yourself and you trust in your person, you trust in God, you'll be rewarded. When you trust in yourself and your strength to adapt and evolve, you are trusting your innate ability to navigate challenges. You are supported as you build and restore trust in the universe. Now, isn't that powerful? So your trust will be rewarded and they will take a leap of faith. They will take a leap into the unknown to contact you, to reach out to you, to surprise you because they are healing those wounds. By always trusting in the universe and the angels to catch you when you take any leap from your comfort zone, you open yourself up to meaningful and worthwhile new beginnings and adventures. And what this means is, allow them to come to you. Trust the universe to catch you. It may feel scary because you're stepping out of your comfort zone, not contacting them, allowing them to come to you, but you'll be okay. And they are going to take a leap towards you, trusting and knowing that it may be scary for them to do that, but they will be caught by you and heaven. So move into the energy of acceptance. Accept yourself as you are. Imperfections and all. Because you are perfect for your person. And that will help you to release judgment not only of yourself. But also towards them and others. And that will also move things forward by leaps and bounds. So when you trust this journey. The universe is going to create a divine intervention. To create physical reunion where there was physical separation. So let's see what lessons you're learning right now. We've got three. We've got horizons. So the angels are saying to you, there is a new person on the horizon. And they are in your energetic sphere. Now, what this means is your person is becoming brand new. They are healing those wounds. They are becoming their greatest version. And that person, that version is on the horizon. It says what you want, wants you. And this will be an equal match. So in other words, your person is going to come back to you in receptive energy, where they can be your equal, where they can give to you everything you give to them and match your vibration. They're going to be in alignment with you. So says there is power in attracting a new partner and the universe is conspiring to bring you together. Now, I feel this new partner is them. This is them in a fresh new energy. Now, there may be some of you watching who are wanting a new partner. Maybe you're thinking, well, there is someone I'm thinking about, someone new. So put this into your situation. But I feel this is mainly about them becoming someone brand new who's going to be on your alignment wavelength. So continue to let go of the old energy and open your energy to receiving a new soul connection. So in other words, be open to receiving this at the right time. That's what I'm connecting with here. We've also got divine masculine. Look at this. So your person is coming back in a powerful energy, in the right energy. So as it's said that the, the right half of your body represents the masculine side and the, the left half represents the feminine side. So someone is healing these wounds and the masculine aspects of the self. So what this is reminding you is that you will also go into your own masculine and feminine energy. So it doesn't matter whether you class yourself as the masculine or the feminine or you aren't putting a label on your journey, but you do have masculine and feminine traits within you. And that's what's been healed right now. And you're gaining power and there's power in protection. 
is, is powering giving back to you, providing for you, providing for yourself, stability and strength. So both the feminine and masculine energies must be balanced in order to be in your full power. And that's really what you're doing. You're doing that by letting go and having faith and trusting and allowing the universe to step in. They are stepping into their power and balancing their energy by healing their wounds. So again, I'm really connecting with this as the divine masculine on the horizon, coming back in a new energy. Even if it feels stagnant, even if you're in physical separation, the energy of the relationship may feel restricted, but it may be restricted by fear or old patterns. And the angel is saying someone's mind or heart space is muddy and cluttered. So there may be things that need to be cleared away. You may need to gain clarity by going in nature. Walls are coming down. Blocks are being cleared. The energy is being shifted. So it can flow in a positive direction. So this is a multi-step process of shedding and it will require patience. And that's why you're being guided to trust because your trust is everything. When you trust that your journey is divinely unfolding, you allow that divine intervention to come in and that leap of faith will occur. And that's by accepting where you are right now and letting go, knowing that it will be a surprise and it will be a reward and it's going to be very healing. So what they are healing right now is abundance and impulse. And they give me the word impulse, even though we've got imposters. So I feel this is an impulse to take control. And also imposters can be other people like karmic partners, friends, people in the way. And this says someone is hiding their true self in this situation. So this means they are wearing a mask right now and that mask needs to come off. That's what they are healing. They may have fear of getting hurt. Of course they are. They're afraid of you hurting them because they've never felt this way. They're afraid of being vulnerable. So they continue to wear that mask. It says not knowing themselves well enough has them pretending to be someone else. So that's because they need to get to know themselves better, which is a wound they are healing, opening themselves up to these wounds so they can get to know themselves better. And if they put a mask on, it's a defense mechanism, an attempt to control how deep a connection can go. So in other words, that's when they can hold you off or push you away or block or ghost you. It says there is limitation and lack here because they have to find the courage to be vulnerable and authentic. And that's what they are healing right now. And that's going to lead to abundance and magic. So when we allow ourselves to build a steady foundation or a strong foundation of abundance that we desire, material abundance comes in naturally. And it's a factor in our romantic life at this time. So what that means is they may be dealing with money. They may be dealing with their karmic debts, things they need to release. And when one or both parties understands a healthy financial foundation will allow you to have greater freedom in your partnership, it's wise to approach financial discussions from a place of transparency and honesty. So what I'm feeling here as well is they are going to come to you as a new person and a new version, and they are also going to come to you with healed financial issues. They're going to come to you with honesty and transparency. They may talk about the past. They may bring up karmic situations, things they've experienced that's made them who they are. So they are going to come back to you with more money, more resources, more understanding and more truth about their truth and who they are. And that's going to be a surprise and it's going to be a reward. So your unwavering faith has been rewarded. Your trust has been rewarded and your faith has been rewarded. But the big message is Archangel Raguel is creating physical reunion where there's separation. So have faith in that. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.